With IBD, getting enough nutrients can be a challenge, but vitamin and mineral supplementation may help. Vitamins and minerals are primarily absorbed in your small intestine. Inflammation of the small intestine can interfere with how your body digests food and absorbs nutrients. Crohn's disease can cause poor appetite and therefore poor nutrient intake. If you have ulcerative colitis, you may have fewer nutrient deficiencies than someone with Crohn's since your small intestine isn't inflamed. But weight loss and anemia can occur due to diarrhea and blood loss in the stool. If portions of your intestines have been removed, this may lead to additional deficiencies because you have less intestine available to absorb nutrients. And certain IBD medications may also interfere with the body's ability to absorb nutrients. Calcium is recommended for all patients with IBD, and especially those on steroids or who have weak bones. Iron is also important because a deficiency can lead to anemia. If you have low iron, it may be because inflammation caused your body to absorb iron poorly or use it less effectively. Intestinal ulcers can also lead to blood loss. Red blood cells carry iron, so if you lose blood, you lose some iron. Start by talking to your healthcare provider about having a blood test. This can help you identify any vitamin or mineral deficiencies. If you are unable to consume or absorb those nutrients from foods, supplementation may be recommended. Some supplements can cause additional problems, including nausea and diarrhea, so take supplements as prescribed. Always consult with your healthcare team before taking any vitamins or supplements. They'll help you decide what's right for you.